In this video, we are going to cover how to counter FPS drops and stutters in Fortnite brand new chapter 4 season 4 on your any low end PC or laptop. So guys, welcome to my channel. After this new update, a lot of people are having these issues. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix all these on your PC. So guys, in the very first step, you need to optimize your storage sense settings on your Windows. And for that, you need to go for your Windows search icon and search for storage and open up the storage settings on your windows now after that here you will find out configure storage sense or run it now click on the configuration turn on the storage sense on your pc and go for this option and set it on to the during low free disk ups with after that go for a temporary file check mark here onto this box and set out the settings onto the 14 days and turn off the settings after that click on this clean now button and this will start cleaning all of these temporary files from your pc and this will refresh your all the windows file for better performance so guys in the next step you need to download this pack on your pc this is completely safe you don't need to worry about any viruses or any kind of decryption or crashes of your windows or your game so for downloading this file on your pc open up the link from description that will take you onto my this website and there you will find out the same exact article with the same thumbnail of my youtube video you are watching right now just make sure to avoid all of the pop ad available on my this website after that download this pack on your pc right click here and extract it on your desktop after extracting it you will find out this folder and now you will find out these three files which are the commands run with affinity and best command for gamers so open up the first folder and here is the best command for to fix the struggles on your pc open up this command and now here is the cmd command and here is the uh, run command so now you need to go for your window search again and search for cmd and run this as administrator click yes after that now copy this command from here which is the check disk x so copy it from here paste here and now you need to change here the x value with your windows drive so my windows drive is c so i will type here c and press enter and this will start scanning all of the data of your windows from your local dc and if any kind of crop file find on your pc so it will automatically fix that after that now you need to go for the second command which is the uh, ffc slash scan now and this will actually uh, optimize and check your all the windows files if any file of missing from your windows so it will also automatically fix that and help you to getting the more performance and fixing the stress issue mainly from your pc this will take 30 to 40 seconds on your PC and after completing the verification on your PC, it's completed. Now you need to go for the next command and simply paste it here and press enter. And this will restore the health of your windows. And this will try to restore the health of your storage devices. So guys, once it's completed, so here you can check out here the before health was 84% and after the restoration, it is now 100% and operation is also completed successfully. After doing all of the step, now close out your CMD windows and now let's go for the next step. And in this step, we are going to clean all of the prefetch data. So press windows R together from your keyboard and now simply copy this command from here and paste here this command and click OK. Click continue. Now press control there from your keyboard for selecting all of these files. Now right click here, go for delete and delete all of these files from the previous folder of your windows. Now close out this file explorer and close out this txt file. Now go back for the next step and in this step here is the run with affinity uh, tool. So double tap here and open up or put this on your desktop. Now double tap on this application, go for the three doors or this browse button. Now you need to add here your Fortnite launcher file. So for that, go for this PC, open up your local DC where you've installed your Fortnite program files epic games folder fortnite folder fortnite game folder binary win64 and here is our fortnite client win64 shipping.exe file and here you can check out here the size of this exe file click on this open button add here the fortnite now here is some important setting for your cpu so you need to first of all select the affinity onto the maximum number you have in this list now go for the shortcut name you can uh, type here run with affinity fortnite or whatever you want then go for the run and set it on to the maximized for running the program for the maximum performance of your pc then click on the create shortcut and click ok and this will create a shortcut of the fortnite on your uh, desktop now close out this application and you can now directly run the fortnite using this launcher file for having the maximum performance of your windows for the fortnite now after that now go back into the main directory and here is our last step which is the best command for gamers.txt file open up this file now here is a command for enabling the ultimate performance power plan then disable ideal power saving on cpu then here is the third step which is optional to lock all the driver dpc to one core you can guys use all of this command again on your pc and for running them you need to open up the cmd so go for your window search search for cmd 
and now you need to copy this command so here is our ultimate performance power plan so let me just check for the power plan open up power and sleep settings go for additional power settings and here we already have the ultimate performance power plan on our pc if you not have this so you need to simply uh, copy this command from here and paste it in the search bar and press enter and this will automatically create this ultimate performance power plan on your windows now the next here is the disable ideal power saving on your cpu so you need to copy the first command from here now paste it here and press enter and this will disable the ideal power saving so guys here is the last the optional step i suggest you simply leave it but if you want to go with it so you can simply go for this location of your registry settings and simply create this a thread dpc enable slash t and registry file for the ft0 you can simply create this registry but i suggest you simply leave this optional step after that close out this txt file and now you need to one time restart your pc therefore all the changes will take effect after that launch your pc again and enjoy the fortnite with the best performance out of your pc without having any kind of fps drops and status issue i hope so you love it so make sure to drop a like on this video and share your opinion about this video in the comment section so till at the next video peace out